Mr. Shenar, welcome to our Medibox platform. It's a pleasure for me. Your report on Panama Papers will discuss tomorrow in the Parliamentary Assembly mm -hmm. Plenary Session. Let's start with the title, Lessons from the Panama Papers to Ensure Fiscal and Social Justice. So, what's the main objective of this report? The report tells us how many money is hidden worldwide. And uh, for you and for me, we are normal people who are employed, we have to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. But companies and very rich people have the chance to go to hit their money, to hit their properties, and they not paying tax. At the moment we have, uh, if I take uh, uh, one of the last report, that 8% of the worldwide properties, uh, uh, it's uh, 7 point trillion US dollars, uh, was never in a tax office. So this is a, a catastrophic situation because all the people who are normally workers has to pay. And the state, every society has to guarantee infrastructure, education, health system, uh, social system. And uh, that system is only working when everybody, every person, every company pays uh, their tax. And this is a question of, of justice, social and tax justice. And it's not the first time that we heard the Panama Papers issue in the Council of Europe. It, there was a huge discussion on that uh, issue. And it's the first time that we had concrete report. So when I look at the report, there's an important section saying that the international toolkit to fight money laundering. So could you please give some examples on this uh, international uh, toolkit? Yes, we have. Uh, different ways. Yeah. For me, I say very open, everything is a kind of tax criminal way. We have ways which are at the moment legal and we have unlegal ways. Unlegal is dirty money, unlegal is money laundering. But if you take away money, from the tax system of, the, of every state, of the public, it's, from my point of view, also a criminal act. Now, uh, in this uh, report, I show you, and it's an X-large version since one hour, it's an X-large. It's not only Panama Papers, now also Bahamas Papers. Yeah. In the Bahama Papers, we find 175,000 offshore companies. Um, and, um, and also the involvement by one former EU commissioner. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we take the Panama Papers, it's one company, the name is Mossack Fonseca. But this company is only the fourth biggest. So we have much more bigger one. Apple Lebby, Bedell, Kerry Olson, Harness, Mabels and Carter, all companies which are using those so-called tax heavens to hit. And this report shows what we need is a system of transparency, a system of automatically information, and that all countries sign, for example, the WTO protocol, that they sign different international protocols we have. The citizens of, of all the countries are not willing anymore to accept this. And this is one that we have also initiatives, the Tax Justice Network, for example, and the Shadow Index Network, for example. And for example, the, the, this index says that, uh, that there are following uh, country number one, Swiss, Hong Kong, USA, Singapore, Cayman Island, Luxembourg, for example. But when we take another kind of offshore, then we come immediately, and that I put today into the report, so this is very fresh, yes, uh, that there is number one, the British Virgin Islands, Gibraltar, the Cayman Islands, Hamilton Islands, it's in Australia, Jersey, Isle of Man, Guernsey, Mauritius, Bahamas, Malta, and Cyprus. So we have to take pressure and we have to make together 
agreements, conventions, that we have to stop this way to, to, to bring out the money of, of, of any tax situation. If you I can tell you, in, the, in those offshore uh, islands, 10% yeah, of the European property or money is on offshore. But 50% from the whole Russian is on offshore. Or 30% of the whole property and, and money of African continent is on offshore. This is horrible. And if only 30% of all those should pay taxes in the year, we have 188 billion US dollar tax per year more. And now we speak about problems of financing, we speak about development in countries, we, we speak about all those problems. If only the European 10% pay, we have no any more economic crisis in the whole European Union. What you say is very important and the statistics are very interesting, but do you really think that when we look at the statistics and examples from the different countries, is it really easy or possible to have a common policy in the, let's say, in the hemicycle tomorrow for the 47 <laughs> member states who will sign the agreement on this uh, yes. issue? This is a good question because um, the United Kingdom, for example, has so many islands which um, are out of control of everything. And uh, in Delaware, in US, for example, 500 of the biggest companies are in Delaware uh, as noticed as, com as companies, and that means they pay nothing. But in all steps, when I presented my report, also today, and in Ani mostly. So I hope tomorrow we come a step forward. Mm -hmm. But you, when you see the, this is the list of the, of the countries who signed protocols mm -hmm. and are willing to make transparency, you see immediately, uh, for example, Aruba, you see Bermuda, you see British Virgin Islands, Cayman Islands, for example. Yeah? No, nothing. And this means we need action. And this action we have to take by international organization like OECD. And I ask that OECE, they should check if OECE can have in the future a system of sanctions. Mm -hmm. And also that WTO get more possibility to set up power as they did now with the Panama, mm -hmm. uh, the state of Panama. Uh, that, that's, is, that is only possible by international action. But we have to notice that some countries are playing a double game, uh, especially in Europe is it okay and in, uh, in and overseas it's US because these two countries but in what's happened in the Wall Street what's happened in London uh, with this fund this is a way where we have to set up also the protest and we must give citizens and those networks also a platform uh, and the states have to understand uh, that we need in, 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 in fiscal and social justice in, in this question. It ca can't be. And we had the first decision by the U EU Commission regarding uh, one big company of uh, US, which are dealing in Europe and which are not paying taxes in Europe. And they got now uh, a bill from the European Union. And we have a lot of such companies. And we have in different countries, I can tell you a member state of the Council of Europe, there is one state, he has more than 30,000 companies without any one employee. So can you tell me what are these companies are doing? This, How they work without employees? This is shadow 
this are shadow companies this and we must tell it's not anymore a question of gentleman uh, criminal work yeah? this is something which belongs to everybody because the state some states are not anymore possible to finance that what is a guarantee of 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 uh, the social and the medical and education uh, uh, principles of a country. And this is why this report is important. And I hope tomorrow that there will be a huge, a large majority for this report. It looks like that it's going to be a hot debate, an important debate. So uh, thanks a lot for joining us, Mr. Thank Schiff. you. Thank you.